Hi, I'm Lulu and welcome to Lulu's Way. I'm glad you're here. I have been making changes in my van and I am so excited. I've been excited making the changes, I'm excited for the changes, and I'm excited to show you the changes. So let's get right into it. I'll show you everything I've done. So when I bought this van, I was on my first road trip with it. I went to go use cruise control and I couldn't find it. I was like, where is it? Where's the button? I was like, it's gotta be here. Uh, I pulled over, I got the manual out, I'm looking at the manual and I'm like, this, this van doesn't have cruise control. Like what vehicle doesn't have cru cruise control? It's kind of like buying a new van and coming home and like you don't have a horn. You know what I mean? It's just like, it's like I just thought it was standard. I never even thought to look to see if it had it. So I've been taking these big long trips with no cruise control. I drove 42 hours to Phoenix and 42 hours back in six weeks all throughout Arizona and a couple, two trips to Florida without cruise control. And I said, I want cruise control. So I had trouble uh, finding a place that would install it. I, I asked my mechanic and he said he doesn't do it. He suggested that I call a car stereo place. So I called the car stereo place that installed my rear view camera. He said he doesn't do it. So I was like, I don't know, I don't know what, what, who's gonna do it. I went up to Pilgrim Van Builds up in Ipswich uh, to see Bill. He's the one that installed my Sola. He installed my Max Air Fan and he installed my DC to DC charger. Uh, I was up there having him do something for me. I'll show you that in a minute. Um, and I asked him, do you know anybody that, that installs cruise control? So he knew a guy and it was a car stereo place, but it was a, in, in a different area. And um, I called and they did it and I just had it done today. And so let me show you. I'm so excited. I'm gonna have cruise control now. So it's right here. This is it right here. I guess, you know, after factory, I don't think it can be installed on the, um, on the, on the steering wheel. But this is just on and off. And this is, um, you know, to accelerate and to bring it down. So that's all I need is those two, those two buttons. And I used it on the way home and it was, it was a gift. It was a gift. I mean, I really don't need to use it when I'm gonna be on the highway for 10 minutes. I, I typically wouldn't turn it on. But when I'm gonna be on the highway for days, that I really want that. So that was um, installed was $600. Just in case you don't have cruise control and you w wish you had it. But I'm gonna take a guess and say, everybody watching here has cruise control because they all, ca all cars have it. All vans have it, except for mine. So that was, one, that was one upgrade I made. That was gonna be a blessing on my next trip. So when I installed my cargo box, on the back of my van. It came, on the top of it, there was this label, big square, big rectangle label, like about this long, about this wide. And I took it off, and then it had some sticky stuff on it. So I went into the garage and I got the, um, the Goo Gone, that Goo Gone stuff. And so I, I sprinkled it on there, and then I started rubbing, and oh my God, I think, I think because the plastic was hot, it was hot in the, from the sun, there was like some kind of a reaction and it just looked really yucky like it it looked i'll show you i have a picture right here this is what it looked like when i took the sticker off and tried to clean up the the sticky stuff so it doesn't look awful but you know how shit bothers my eye so it was bothering my eye i said i got to do something that's going to distract my eye from this so i found some uh, car decals. Uh, I think they're made to go on your car, like if you wanted to put flowers on your car or whatever. I'm not interested in putting anything on my actual vehicle, but I bought these vehicle decals um, and I put them strategically in that area and I very strategically planned out these, this, uh, these decals so that all of that, all those yucky parts were covered. Come have a look what I did. So yeah, so here it is. This is what I did. They're um, holographic, um, just flowers, all different size. And I just planned it all out so that, that most of that stuff that was yucky is covered. At least it's not, well, it's not covered, but at least the eye is distracted from it. And I just very strategically placed these and planned this out uh, with the three different sizes. There was the, no, actually four different sizes. There was a large, 
the next one, the next one. The, here's the four sizes right here. And it came with a pile of them, and I had, I had, I have a lot left over, and I put some inside my van. I put a couple on my Berkey, and um, but I thought that looked, I thought that looked really nice. I love it. So when I went to see Bill up at Pilgrim Van Builds last week, the reason I went to go see him is because I needed my rear camera moved. So my rear camera was right here, and that's what looked down at my bumper so that I could see how close I was when I was backing up into things. But now, when, I, when, this, when it was here, I, I could, all I could see was this, like this way. So I couldn't see down. So he moved it right up here. So there's my camera. There's my camera right there. So now it just points down and I can see right here and I know exactly when I'm backing up how far to go. So that's very important for me because I don't have windows back here. So uh, I can do a lot with my side mirrors, but this, this makes uh, backing up and parking a breeze. So I'm happy with that too. You know, I was looking through a bunch of little junk stuff that I have, like just stuff where I keep, where I do crafts, just like little odds and ends of things. And I found this, um, this thing, this thing right here. Look at that. This was my mother's, and I'm trying to remember what it was. It's too long to be a bracelet. It really didn't have any clasps to be like a necklace. Um, I don't know what it was, but I know that it was my mother's. And it was just this big, this long strip of rhinestones. So I just put it up there with some alien tape. Why not? Take mum with me. Another thing I wanted to mention was uh, people have been writing to me, asking me if I fit into a regular parking space now that I have this um, cargo box and you know I do so uh, yesterday I was at um, doing an errand I was just in a regular shopping plaza with regular size um, parking spaces and as I was walking to my car and I looked how perfectly it fit into a spot I took a picture and I'm going to show you right here how absolutely perfect it just fits right in a parking space it's just um, I just need to pull up all the way to the top of the parking space and I fit perfectly I'm happy about that. So I'm very, very happy with um, how this medicine cabinet turned out. Okay, so I've made all my renovations inside here. Um, I'm going, I, you really never know until you've actually gone on a trip and used it. Uh, I can always modify things, but for now, it's really working well. So here's what I've done. Look at this. So I built these two shelves and they're just bracketed up here, right there. Um, I also put this uh, skid proof um, shelf liner stuff right on the top of each shelf so that things don't rattle around. Um, I also went to Joanne Fabric and I bought uh, a roll of this um, trim. I just used a hot glue gun and I glued a piece here, here and there just to kind of finish that off, finish off that wood. Um, uh, I know I want this here. And this tape, having this tape here is pretty handy. I like to keep my bug light. This is my bug zapper. These are my um, scrubbies, uh, wipes, um, shower wipes. Um, and then as I'm packing for a trip, I'll put, the, this is just big enough for canned goods. I could put canned goods right here, um, use it as a pantry. Now over here, I put all my, um, my pens in this little cup here. I have my scissors hanging on a little nail there. Um, I have my, you know, just a few little things in, in this box. I have my uh, lighter. So what I did was, this is a, um, one of those little insulated lunch bags that I got at the thrift store. And it was the perfect size for this area up here. Um, doing a, um, a shelf on this side was going to be a little tricky for me because over here it's just two flat walls. But over here, this kind of, it's kind of like a sunken in area and it was just going to get a little tricky for me so maybe one day I will tackle building shelves on that side but for now I just put this up here and this is what I'm this is what I'm going to do I'll show you how I attach this so I can just open the zipper like this it's not very very convenient to get to but I'll put it with things that I don't need access to all the time you know so this is what I did I just got I just cut a piece of scrap wood and I put uh, four screws with washers right on the back of it. That's gonna keep it from not sagging. Um, so I can just fill that up with things 
and then I can just zip her up like this, zip it up like this, and then like this. And like I said, this isn't like the most convenient thing to get to, but what is convenient is this zipper, and this is where I'll put all my um, charging cords. Yeah, so that's gonna work out really good. And it won't sag because of the way I installed it, and it just sits right over all this stuff. And in my opinion, this is gonna work out really well. When I pack this for my trip, this will be filled, I don't know, maybe I'll put some groceries in here, some pantry items in here. I'll put some pantry items on these two shelves maybe. Um, I don't know, I won't know until I pack. But I'm very happy with the way this cabinet turned out. It's just a much better uh, organized space. So now I'm gonna show you how I fixed my bed. Okay, let me go like this and I'll lift this up and show you. Okay, so see right here? One, two, three. See these, they're, they're solid in there. They're screwed right in the ends. One, two, three. Now, I wanted to put two more here and I couldn't get in here with the drill. I couldn't get in there with the drill to attach it, so I just did those two um, the same way I did the other ones, just on top. But they're way down here. This is where the bulk of my weight is, and this is going nowhere. This is going nowhere. So that worked out perfectly for me. They, they installed easy enough. Um, I just measured, stuck them in there, pre-drilled and screwed them in, and it works out perfect. And like I said, when I sit up in bed, if I'm laying down and my weight is all distributed, it doesn't matter much. Uh, you know, I'm not that heavy, so it doesn't really, if I don't need that that much support. But when I'm sitting here with, with the pillows like this, like this, and I'm sitting in bed eating and stuff, um, all my weight is right here right here so it's uh, these two slats right here don't matter uh, I could have probably even skipped those two but I didn't um, but that's gonna hold my weight and that's um, perfect and I also like how on the side here you could see those when I had those boards on the top you could see them here and now it's nice and flat again so now I'm gonna show you what I've done to the pallet cabinet um, I put these this hardware on how amazing are those? Look at that. Look at that. Perfect. Perfect. They, they close right. They look good. Um, I, also, <laughs> I also oiled the hinges. A few people wrote to me and said, yeah, you might want to oil those hinges. They were very squeaky. Now they're not squeaky. Another thing I did was I replaced those big, thick chunks of wood with these two thin pieces of wood. See that? That's what's holding these two boards together, because these are just two separate boards, and this is holding them together. Um, now, like I said, the, the boards were like an inch thick, and they were just going right inside and taking up space in there. So now I've got these nice thin ones, and they work perfectly. Same with this one. Got my little lock, and I changed that wood there. Um, so I decided that I'm going to hold off on um, reconfiguring inside this. I'm going to wait until I'm actually out using it because I really don't know. I don't know how groceries are going to fit in here. I don't know. There's too many things that I don't know until I use it. So I'm going to use it as is for now. And then I will just see. Um, I'll, I'll have a much more clearer vision. Like even when I get back from Maryland because I'll be gone about a week. And um, I think I, sh I would get a good feel on, on that, on, and then I'll, I'll decide when I get back on what I'll do with the inside of that. So I'll come up with some ideas. Usually the ideas, the best ideas I come up with is when I'm actually on the road, actually using it and have a problem in, in visualizing a solution. So, yeah. Okay, now we're going to talk screens. If you remember from my last video, I had my homemade screens, which really works very well, except I don't like that whole line of magnets that shows on the outside of the van. I don't like that. Um, I ordered those screens that I showed you that come down, they, they come down like a big elastic. They go around the mirror, it goes around the mirror, 
It has a little zipper inside for ventilation, but you know something? I'm just concerned about the lack of ventilation. Like, uh, I want to feel the air come in. If I need my windows open, if I need screens because I need my windows open, I need airflow. So I really would prefer to use house screen material opposed to like that netting fabric. So I was racking my brain trying to figure out what I was going to do. So what I discovered was my alarm just went off. It's time to do my posture exercise on the hour, every hour, all day. Shoulder blades back, shoulders back, spine straight, head, the top of my head. Try to stretch it to touch the sky. Okay, <laughs> so I had an idea for the screens. So what I realized when these doors are closed, there's metal right here, there's metal right here, there's metal right here. Very, very thin, thin, very tiny little strip of metal. See it? And I thought, how about if I use all that metal to magnet something on the inside instead of on the outside. So I said, okay, I'm gonna need very little skinny, skinny magnets. So I found some very little tiny skinny magnets on Amazon. I ordered them and they came. I, I custom, custom cut screens to fit both windows. I'm gonna install one and show you. Okay, so this is where I keep my screens, right over here. So these are the magnets I found on Amazon. See them? See how tiny they are? Uh, what I have noticed is uh, when I was working with these is that using one of these is not strong enough. I need to use two. If I use two at a time, they're nice and strong. So let me show you how I've done this. I'm so excited. So I go like this. I've got the bigger magnets, the big round magnets that I was using uh, for, my, for my old screens. Okay, so now on this biggest part right here, I can use these, I can use these bigger magnets. Right down to the corner. There we go. Okay. So now I'm going to get the little ones, two at a time. Two at a time. Two at a time. See how those go right on there? That little piece of metal that's there. There. I could probably do more. I'm going to do one more. There we go. Then, this here can go right inside here. Look at this. Will you look at that? Now watch. I shut the door. Look at this. <laughs> look at this screen window. All the ventilation I want and you can hardly even notice it's there and it's not unsightly and it really is no trouble to install. Now to take it down, I just, I just take these magnets, boom, boom, boom. And then I, I realize that if I take these, if, if I just keep stacking them on top of each other like this, it's easy to get them off.
all it is just regular house screen what I did what I did was I magneted it I, I put it all up here with a magnet and then I cut I cut while it was while it was stuck up there while it was stuck up there with the magnets it was like this long I just started cutting with the scissors right on the window it's like you don't even have to make a template or anything so now I just get my little my little thing of magnets put those in here um, actually I can now that these take up so much less space because the other ones were so much more material um, I, I'm gonna put this in a different a different little pouch because it can be in a pouch that's like half the size you know so it's just it's so it's so much better I am very happy with the screens for me the ventilation is very very important that's why I got my max air fan um, you know if I'm gonna turn that on I have to have a place where it's gonna come in and I, I want it to just come in you know I don't want it to be have struggling to get through fabric so that's what I've decided to do for me.